So the clown show has continued to move on with these two fighting each other. Both of them are going to fight for the rest of their time on the internet at this point. But it's just really stupid this time. And Ethan Klein has came out and made some unsurprisingly dumb remarks. And I just wanted to talk about it. I don't know what goes through these people's heads. I don't know what Keemstar did to make Ethan Klein this angry at him. Because the cat fights that they've had over the internet are... It seems like it's indicating something like deeper or they could just be the two pettiest individuals on the planet. I don't know. Let's get into these clips. I got them from Bo Black's video, so appreciative of him for compiling all this stuff and making his own video that I will link in the description. Something so fucking good happened. Yo, bro, I met this high school girl that was hot as fuck tonight. Yo, let's go dude <laughs> let's go he's talking about how he met a high school girl that was so hot tonight yes i know he said that shit he said that shit i'm it's drunk dude yo he 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 likes minors he 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 like what what is this genuinely like what what is this like dude do you do you not like hear yourself as you're saying these things like, oh, yeah, we got him. Oh, he likes minors. This is wonderful. Like, come on, bro. Like, I understand not liking a person, but even if, like, I don't like Ethan Klein, but even if I did find out, like, oh, he's, like, cheating on his wife and he's stealing money from homeless people and he's doing all these horrible things, I wouldn't be sitting here, oh, yes, finally. Oh, I knew he was horrible. Like, there's no point. Genuinely, there's no point in this. I mean, like, oh yeah, I knew, I knew he's a bad person. See, guys, see, I win the internet flame war that's been going on for like three years now. I'm the cool one now. Like, this is so lame, dude. He's like so hype. Apparently, Keemstar was drunk during this clip. We're gonna get more into it, but like, it's just so odd. Like, I know why he's hype because he hates Keemstar and anything that makes Keemstar look bad or paints him in any type of negative light, he's gonna jump on it. What? <laughs> Shut up! Shut Wait. the fuck up! Shut up! Guys. You, wanna, can I... you, wanna, you, wanna, you wanna hear the story or not? Like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I won't right. tell you the sure, story if you're, if you're not worthy of it. Members on the stream, right? No, we're good. So naturally, Keemstar tells the story anyways, and the entire time he's telling it, people are under the assumption that he's talking about an actual high schooler who goes to high school in 2022, and Edwin's facial reaction the entire time is just priceless. Okay, 2007, I'm downtown, I'm in the clubs, this girl, Cook, right? I'm not gonna say any more than Cook. Cook is the only name I'm gonna give you. There's a full name, but I'm just gonna give you Cook. Cook is working the club bro and she is looking like a fucking 10 and Cl cook is the like you know when you go to the nightclub and there's hot ass bitches and like leather and shit you know what i mean like they're the dancers the the, the whatever right fucking she's making move on brantley brantley's making moves on her she's making move on me bro i'm telling you this girl still fucking got it bro Let's okay shout out so to cook to clarify, okay. this is a girl you knew from high school. Knew from high school. Okay. okay. Yeah, she probably, okay. she probably like, I'm going to say she probably like 36. She still got it. She has like. So that's the context. And at first you might realize, hmm. Well, he said that she was making moves on Brantley, who's his current girlfriend, who's like 20 at this. At, yeah, she's 20. And he's saying this went down in 2007. But judging by him saying she still got it i'm guessing that he means this was recently and as in like oh tonight i met a girl from high school and she was making moves on me and brantley that's what makes the most sense because why would brantley be in the story duh like i'm guessing that they met in 2007 or he just said a random year that's really the most sensical thing or oh actually back in 2007 uh he was a predator and he had brantley with him when she was six 
which you know is kind of weird when you frame it like that and then he met this girl that was in high school when he was 25 and uh, the tonight part uh she, he met her again tonight uh or actually no he just said 2007 because uh that was the first thing to come to his brain or uh, like what is what is it like i really uh, people just don't like keemstar which is okay it's okay to not to like somebody i'm not his biggest fan don't get me wrong but i'll defend anybody if somebody says something ridiculous like this with literally no basis for it other than confusion if the same thing happened to ethan i'll just be like yeah this clearly didn't happen in fact when ethan has said multiple times stupid stuff right at first i was like oh this is bad blah 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 and now i'm just like it's whatever you know either something bad will happen or it won't he's just gonna keep going and it is what it is at some point you gotta stop freaking out over somebody okay and i've been talking about this guy you know probably three or four times in the past like two or three months and i'm already like ah whatever you know and ethan is so locked in on keen it's insane like he's just looking for the smallest little thing this little clip he's creating it to be this huge big drama and it's it's so ridiculous it's embarrassing honestly i don't know why you as a grown man would choose to go down that type of life path to where you're so obsessed with what somebody else is doing but it's his life so can't really say anything so like when you have a reputation for going after young girls and your girlfriend current girlfriend has braces and just graduated high school to say that how to vocalize that on a live stream is just wild bro Can't dude i met a girl in high school that's so fucking hot all right tell me which grade freshman <laughs> or senior i know it shouldn't matter but let's just break it down now what, what grade is she in King? to clarify was... this is a girl you knew from high school knew from high school okay, <laughs> okay. yeah she probably okay. she probably like I'm gonna say she's probably like 36. She still got it. Uh -huh. She has like three kids. Okay, now let's go back to the beginning of this before Brantley was like punching him in the arm and telling him what the fuck did you just say? Yeah. Now Keemstar has never complimented anyone over the age of like 25. In fact, he was even on Twitter saying, you guys keep telling me to date someone my own age. I Googled a 39 year old woman. I will not be listening to any of you guys. If you remember where you were on 9-11, I'm not interested. And then he put these random women on blast, by the way. I know Ethan is not talking about putting random people on blast. He doxed a random person. Like, and it, it just went over because it was in the mix of all those other scandals of stupid stuff he's done. But it was probably the most serious thing he's done, really. Uh, like, he put out somebody's information. It was mainly him and his staff member. I think her name's Olivia. Yeah, it's Olivia. And like he genuinely put somebody in danger he said that he wanted their life ruined and he knew his fans were going to go after th this person he said he hoped for their life to be ruined like this is just so wild to me that he'll just attack somebody for doing something he knows he himself did then he claims that brantley was like hitting him on the arm telling him what to say which is weird, uh, whatever. And then he claims, oh, Keem has a reputation for going after young girls and a girl that has braces and just graduated high school. She's 20, she's been out of high school for two years actually. And she's a full grown adult. She could, she's a year away from buying drinks legally. She's probably been driving for about four years she's probably been vote been able she's been able to vote for two years so i see zero problem with her dating whoever she wants to because she's an adult she is over 18 which means you framing it like this is just so disingenuous you're like this 20 year old child yeah this 20 year old child right here is uh being preyed upon by Keemstar because I dislike Keemstar. Therefore, he is a predator. Like, do you not understand like how dumb this line of thinking is? Like, 
do you want the voting age raised? Do you want like the driving age ra raised? Or is it just this? Because this particular issue, you can lord over Keemstar. You can be like, oh, I'm this great person and you're dating 20 year olds. So obviously you're a bad person. I mean, honestly, that's that's the crux of the entire argument that he has. Oh, yeah, I'm a good person. OK, and Keem is a bad person because he does things I disagree with and he dates younger women. And that's bad, even though they're adults and can make their own decisions. They can't make the right decision when it comes to Keemstar. So therefore, he's a predator. It's so lame. OK, dude. He met a high school girl that is hot as fuck tonight. Is there really any way to spin that? Also, the story itself, as he describes, it's not that interesting. He goes, oh, I saw a girl from high school who's hot? Like, she, what kind of story is that? She's still hot. She's still hot. Mm -hmm. She's a 10. She's Maybe it is a big story for him because, and given Kim sort of benefit of the doubt, he hasn't been attracted to someone that old before. And right, like, yeah, yeah, it is like a revelatory moment. So it's like a first for him. So maybe that is well, possible. The thing is, he remembers what she looks like in high school, so he can kind of, he has that fantasy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> he he, came a weirdo, he he. Like, obviously you're not giving him the benefit of the doubt when you say something like that. You know, I, th I think he was making a joke when he said, oh, with these 39-year-old women, I'm not that into them. Like, obviously there are attractive women of pretty... Well, I'm not going to say that. I was about to say, oh, well, there's attractive women of any age range. Well, yeah, there's women. I'm not talking about girls. Jeez. I just imagine someone being like, oh, so you think little girls are attractive? That's not what I mean. I'm, I'm talking about adults here. Just to be 100% clear, just so that I don't get called out for liking underage girls. Even though I'm at an age where liking high school girls is perfectly fine. I don't want that kind of smoke. Anyway, it's just so weird to me how he's like, bro, you you met a high school girl? Well, that's not that interesting. Well, clearly it's interesting enough for you to make an entire segment about. Like, you're taking time out of your show to attack him because you don't like him. That's fine. It's okay not to like somebody, but to act like, oh, yeah, I'm just calling this out because... It seems kind of fishy. I'm just looking into this. Like, it's disingenuous. You're looking into this because you don't like him. Be honest. You guys believe Keemstar was talking about a high school girl that he thought was cute? Or a 36-year-old that... A 36-year-old that he knew in high school who he saw, who he saw in 2017. He yeah. Yeah. Yo, bro, I met this high yeah. school girl that I was <laughs> I met. fuck tonight. I met. Yeah, I met tonight. If you're like, yo, I met this girl I know, why would you say high school? If you're talking about an old friend, you say, I met a girl I used to know. I ran into somebody that yeah. I knew in high school. Personally, after considering all the evidence and just what I understand <laughs> and considering both perspectives, clearly Keemstar had uh, a, a follow-up story. But I personally believe, and it's my opinion, that Keemstar was talking about a high school girl, a girl who's currently in high school who was hot. Then he got embarrassed and changed the story to try to cover up. That's my faith and belief based on my opinion of the circumstances there. It's slimy. Uh, that is a very slimy way of going about it. Being like, well, you know, personally, in my view of the situation and the goings on in such a situation, I believe that Keemstar was talking about a real high school girl that he met recently, as in tonight. Like, dude, it, it makes so much more sense that he met a high school girl that he knew, because why would he say she still got it? Like, what's going on? Like, he's drunk, right? And people are saying, oh, well, you know, a drunk man's words are a sober man's thoughts. But he's, well, you know, on some level that is true. But, like, he's just slurring out things and just saying them. Like, do you really think he's thinking, Oh, you know, I met a high, high girl tonight. And, like, he's incoherent, okay? And it's not fair to for us to be like, Okay, well, 
you know, Ethan Klein, when he said that the Vatican should be bombed and he said that Ben Shapiro should be gassed, you know, he was just, you know, speaking from an ironic sense. But when Keemstar is drunk and speaking incoherently, that is when he is at his most truthful, actually. In all honesty, I trust Keemstar when he's drunk more than I trust him when he's sober. Like, well, what are you doing? What is this? It's just pure foolishness. It's just you trying to one-up Keemstar again. That's all it is for Ethan, okay? And maybe he really thinks this. Maybe he really thinks, oh, yeah, this guy's going after a high school girl. I'm going to call him out. Klein to the rescue. But it's, it seems like that just gave him such tunnel vision that he wasn't able to actually look at it from other perspectives. He just saw it as clear cut and dry. Oh, clearly he's talking about, you know, a 12 or not a 12 year old girl, an 18 year old girl that he met 15 years ago. And like, it's just, he's so like focused on, okay, take down Keemstar. How can I take down Keemstar? Anytime I get a chance, I have to attack Keemstar. And he didn't just stop and think about the segment before he did it. And because of that, he just said foolishness. So I'm going to end it off here. Thank you all for watching. I really and truly appreciate it. Goodbye.